three years ago when I was taking many road trips, sleeping in my Nissan Ultima. Never could I have imagined how far this dream could have taken me. This is more than a van or a house to me. This has become an exploration of who I am and who I want to be. And it's truly been a catalyst to the excitement of discovering what it means to truly be living every single day to the fullest. And honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to quit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tori Delori, and I've been living in this van for three years. I bought it in 2020. It had 28,000 miles on it and was $31,000. It is a 2015 Ram Pro Master 159 wheelbase, and I converted it myself with no experience. I had never touched a power tool, so it definitely prepared me for the daily ups and downs and just craziness of living on the road, but come on, I'll show you. All right, well, welcome to my home, or at least what is only my home for two more days. After living in here for three years, I decided to sell this van so that I could get a new one and do a lot of upgrades. It's new and build. Enough jabbering, let's get into it. All right, so I figured we could start with the closet, nothing complicated, just half inch Baltic birch with a little door handle and cute little locking mechanism in there. I like she's like soft and hard at the same time. I may like pink, but don't mess with me. And then inside the closet, I forgot it, I was gonna clean it. Um, this is the authentic look of my closet most of the time. So this is where I hang clothes and this is where I shove them when I don't wanna hang them up. Just pretend like you never saw that. Okay, this is a map of all of the national parks and sites that I can mark them off whenever I visit them. And then I just store all of my clothes here in bins so they're easy to pull out. And then here underneath all of the clothes, if you can even see it, is where I keep my cooking stove. Um, and then I just pull it out, place it on the counter, and then I put it back when I'm done. So next in my van build is my bookshelf, full of books that I very rarely have the time to read, but it's, you know, in case. And a microphone for my podcast, Van Life Unfiltered. And then this is my van build Bible of sorts, where I am planning my new van build and all of the good secrets. And on this side of the closet, I have five signed Taylor Swift CDs. I am a huge fan, but also she is the reason I actually accidentally got into van life. After her concert, um, the Reputation Stadium tour, I slept in my car because the traffic was so bad. And the next morning I woke up and I was still in Miami and I was like, I could stay here and just kind of get to see and travel Miami, you know, because I stay here overnight and I didn't have to pay for a hotel room. And it was like a light bulb went off and I've been stealth camping ever since. Also, when I was building this bookshelf, I added a little bit of an extra lip as a place to like place drinks, um, but it ended up being a perfect spot for my mini fan. I also have a fan here, my Max Air fan, which yes, there are little googly eyes on it. Um, and just this plus this plus having an open skylight or door, just anything that you can do to circulate air in here is golden. And then as far as light switches, my first set is over here. This one does the LEDs and they change color. It's for magical. This middle switch is an extra. It is not actually attached to anything. It was kind of in case I wanted to install anything later on. Um, and then this last one is a USB as well. It's actually located down here and it's kind of doing my external lights right now. Like this one. All right, let's move on to the bed area. This is a queen size mattress. I'm 5'10 and can fit perfectly across. The ProMaster is the widest vehicle, so that was absolutely a plus and a reason that I chose the ProMaster. The skylight back here, which is honestly one of my favorite pieces of the whole van build. A Lumar Marine skylight, so it's meant for boats originally. It's a size 50 hatch, so I can actually climb out there, clean my solar panels, look at the stars at night, whatever I want to do. And I think that pretty much sums this part up. Welcome to my kitchen. This is a farmhouse style sink from Vigo, and this is a USB charged faucet from Amazon. That was $7. So I was being super frugal on this section. I felt like a sink faucet wasn't something that I needed to be fancy or bougie. So that was a place I decided not to splurge on, just like the countertop, which is a $10 contact sheet from Amazon. Not real marble, as people in photos seem to think. In real life, you wouldn't think it was real marble. Don't worry. Um, and of course, the real stars of my van are my Pokemon planters. I usually use that one as a toothbrush holder and they kind of just hold random assorted things, but they're super cute and I absolutely love them. So these light switches are the main lights, the outdoor light, and then this USB, which can be closed. Super fancy. 
And then I hang my keys and kind of like safe, different safety tools. I used to have a self-defense business um, and I would educate women on how to protect themselves essentially, which when you live in a vehicle is very important. Um, but between pepper spray, safety alarms and cubitons, um, I sit next to each one every night and then during the day I just keep it on the hook. All right, what else? Let's go over the cabinets. So my kitchen cabinets are pretty simple, nothing too complicated. Um, they have cute little heart doorknobs, of course. And I decided not to go for the pull-out drawers because I just didn't want to. They took up so much time, so much money, and I just bought some painters from Hobby Lobby. And that's worked for me for a while, but the next van will have pull-out drawers. But yeah, they just have little locks on them and nothing too complicated. And then this is my five foot long slide out table. I eat here, I do my work here, I can set up my computer and look out and see whatever view I'm at, which is usually a Walmart or a hotel or somewhere not beautiful if we're being realistic. And then it just slides back in. Also, this used to be completely closed off, but then after a year and a half, I built this little entryway into the garage area so I could access everything in there without having to open the back doors. And then here is a mistake I made that I cover up with a pillow and now it's a laundry chute, but um, it's a pretty ugly hole, so just put a pillow there and you'll never know. And then my bench is, of course, more than just a bench. This side stores my Dometic refrigerator, and the other side... ...stores my electrical system. And then on the side of the kitchen cabinets, I made this cute little box to put my face wash, my makeup, and then I covered it all with flowers, that way you couldn't tell when it's messy. And then moving on to one of our final areas is the cab. I store my window covers up here. I have my Webasto heater installed underneath the passenger seat. And then the roof up here is just covered in different things to represent my travels. And this is my garage. It's never organized well enough, but I have a lot of just random things in here. I have an internet router, a water filter, a paddle board, my netting for keeping bugs out, which I obviously have not been using this whole video, but would have been smart. And then I also have this beautiful hole that I messed up and never fixed. And just once you get on the road and you're traveling, the last thing you want to do is just stop traveling so you can fix a random hole. It just wasn't important enough. So, um, and I never see it. So you didn't see it either. <laughs> and yeah, that is my garage trunk area, whatever you'd like to call it. And I think the final place we have to visit is the roof. So while a lot of people have ladders to get onto their roof, I really wanted something more multifunctional and more stealth. So I use my skylight to get onto the roof. And up here, I have two 175 watt solar panels from HQST. And with that, we are at the end of our van tour. If you wanna learn more about the things that I hate about the van and will be changing in the next one, I'll link the video I made about that. Or if you wanna support my channel more, I have a Patreon that I'll be linking in the description. And I am just so excited to start the new van build with all of you and it's going to blow this one out of the water, I can already tell. Thank you so much for watching.